What's cracking, peeps? This is the A-Train coming back at you with another episode of What's New at Tackle Warehouse. You better get your credit cards ready because the stuff I have here, it's hot and it's gonna go quick. So starting off by Roman Maid, we got the Trick Soft Lip Swim Bait. Three-piece swim bait, sky's the limit on what you could do with this thing. Uh, first of all, the beautiful, beautiful craftsmanship on this bad boy. Uh, notice it's got a soft lip on it. So um, with that lip, it's able to kind of finesse its, finesse its way over cover, almost like a square bill, but because it's not glass, it doesn't just dig in to that cover. It just finesses its way over it. You can see the flexibility in that lip. Three-piece swim bait, so no matter what speed you want to fish this thing with, it will not roll on you. So anything from waking it, retrieving your speed, to get it to dive down two, three feet, this thing is just a monster. It's gonna get bit. Whether you're after that trophy fish or you need a kicker in the live well, this is definitely the way to get bit. Next, by Plano, we got the Plano single gun case. So not only does this do a great job of protecting your firearms, it's also designed to protect those high-end swim baits or glide baits. So we got that high density foam right here. Two heavy duty latches right here, so you could uh, close this thing, shake it, drop it. It's gonna keep those baits highly secure, uh, scratch resistant, and nothing will happen to these prize investments of yours. So definitely a good way to transport uh, to and from the lake, uh, just keeping your baits safe. That's everything is bait security. Next, by G-Crack. We got the Bellow Shad. So Alton Jones Jr. designed this thing and he is taking the tournament world by storm. So this is actually uh, designed as a trailer for your bladed jigs, bladed swim jigs, and spinner baits also. There's a few other uses for this bait also. Uh, you can flip with this thing. But what's cool about it, all those little ribs and appendages, they just trap so much water, super tapered tail, and you put that on the back of a vibrating jig, it's gonna give you just so much action, so much turbulence, it's just action packed and it's calling fish from a distance. Definitely a bait that's getting bit. So um, these are gonna be gone quick, I promise you that. So you better load up on these now. Next, a highly anticipated bait from Spro. We got the Cyclone Prop Junior. Uh, this bait is gonna call fish from a distance. Super loud rattles and then we got a metal tail on this thing. So that thing is gonna spray generous amounts of water. So there's no secret that this is coming into the strike zone. Uh, fish are gonna be able to hone in on this day or night. It's just a lot of movement, a lot of motion, a lot of sound to this bait. One of the cool things is, as this bait swims on just a steady retrieve, the head is gonna kinda bob. It's not just coming straight at you like most uh, plopper style baits, just a straight action. No, this one actually has a little head bob to it, which is very unique, very realistic. So you see a fish cruising on the surface, he's always zigzagging with his head, uh, head and tail motion. And this bait mimics that very well. So definitely get you one of these, you will be very impressed, I guarantee you. Next, by Tight Lines, we got the UV bladed jig trailer. So there's a lot going on with this little bad boy right here. First of all, you got the UV, so that always helps enhance different bites. You got the grub, and anytime you got that kind of curly tail on a bladed jig, you're gonna get tremendous action, tremendous thump. And notice we got this skirted material on here too. So that's gonna boister the, um, the appearance of the bait, give it that uh, kind of plumped out feel to it, just uh, adding size and girth to this um, already great bait. And um, it's definitely a bait just uh, giving you a different look for that vibrating jig basically, and it's gonna just give you a lot of action and definitely draw some uh, bites from those reary fish that haven't seen something of that bulk before. So definitely give this a try. Next, by Gancraft, we got the Ayrton MR and the SR crankbaits. So these are basically the mutant spawn uh, crankbaits and jerkbaits. So the MR right here is um, got that long bill, steady retrieve, it's gonna have a nice little tight wiggle, but at the same time, you could stop and go, twitches of the rod, and you got your crankbait action. So when you put a crankbait and a jerkbait together, you get the best of both worlds, basically. So um, straight retrieve, just crank this little thing down, give it pauses and just little snaps of the rod, and you got that jerkbait erratic action to mimic those dying shad. This one really jumps out at me, the SR. So it's basically that square bill. So I love throwing square bill crankbaits. So now with that square bill, I can crash this thing through cover 
And at the same time, after it deflects, I could give it a pause, twitch, twitch, twitch with the rod, and uh, just helping draw and enhance those reaction strikes. So the square build and jerk bait together, that's something I've never seen before. So this is definitely gonna get you bit. I'm actually gonna buy a few of these today. Next, by six cents, we got the Divine Flutter Spoon. So one of the cool features about this thing, it's got a premium swivel right there. That's gonna aid in not getting lots of line wraps right here. But anytime, summertime, fall time, when those fish are on those uh, deep structure ledges, and you wanna mimic that bigger um, bait fish profile, such as your gizzard shad, this is definitely a good way to go. That flutter spoon, when it rolls on its side, it's just fluttering all the way down, draws vicious strikes. Um, we got a nice little uh, sticky triple grip hook on there thing. So that thing is just gonna help pin fish. But the action of these flutter spoons is something you don't wanna be without this time of year. It's gonna draw strikes. Um, it's a great bait for drawing that biggest fish in the school to bite first, and that's helping um, just keep that school together and then pick off all the other fish in that school. But it's a good way to target big fishes with flutter spoons, so definitely a uh, great bait to fish this time of year. Next, by Sunline, we got the Defire Braid. So um, this is a finesse braid for your uh, spinning gear applications. Um, the awesome thing about this braid right here it's a sinking braid. It's got this nice little coating around the braid, so that's gonna resist fraying, um, losing its color, and just uh, keeping everything woven uh, just tight right here. With that sinking braid and that, um, that tighter braid, you're gonna have more contact with your lure. So um, with that contact, you're able to detect more strikes. You could actually tell what kind of cover you're bouncing on, whether you're on rock, sand, um, clay, it's just that sensitive and um, with that feel, you could just detect these slightest of bites, anything that's unnatural with your bait, you're able to hone in and um, pick up on those little subtleties. So this is definitely great for your finesse applications. There is a uh, Defire floral carbon that matches perfectly with this for the for those of you guys who like to uh, tie the different splices and everything, but this braid is definitely a go-getter. Definitely stock up on that. Thanks for tuning in, and for more information on the product seen here today, click link of the shop in the description below. If you enjoyed this week's episode, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Let the A-Train know which of these products you're most pumped about.